What's up, Jam Card Gear Goggles? We're here live at the forum on stage with the one and only Brendan Buckley. What's up, Elmo? My guy. <laughs> thanks for coming out. Dude, thanks for having us on stage at the forum. We're literally, we're on, we're on stage. Yeah, this is, uh, we're, we're mid sound check. Not only are we doing sound check, but they're also testing the lights. They're setting up video cameras to shoot a live DVD tonight of this concert. So there's a lot going on. It's kind of crazy. Well, I mean, and you've been on a Latin pop gig for how many years now? Yeah, like 20 years. 20 years. Yeah. Is it really? Yes. Shakira? I started in 98. That's how you keep the gig. We got to do a whole lesson series with Brendan, how to keep the gig. 20 years. What's tip number one? How do you keep the gig? Uh, make everyone else super comfortable all the time. Tip number two, how to keep the gig? Uh, refer to tip number one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we have 100 people on this tour, so uh, you, we all have to get along. We're all part of the same family, and you have to treat it that way. And if you make yourself more important than everyone else, or your needs way more important than everyone else's, you're going to get replaced. There it is. You heard it here on Jam Card. You get to see the view here of Brendan. Brendan gets to sit behind Shakira and hold the show down. And this is the view of the cockpit. I have so many things I want to talk to you about. You got all sorts of toys here, man. Lots of toys. It's a big arsenal. <sighs> all right, you got percussion, you got pads, you got multiple pedals on the floor. I see three pedals on your right foot. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of different sounds. So what happens a lot is like um, intro has one kick sound, verse has another one, chorus has another one. And I could try to set program changes that constantly change all the sounds throughout the song, or I could just come up with one kit for the whole song. Mm -hmm. So that's what I do. And then there's a double pedal, hi-hat, and that's usually a pedal that's mainly for explosions. No joke. Really? Like if she runs up and down and jumps up and down, I usually go kaboom. So like, like it goes off with uh, like confetti and stuff. There's an explosion pedal. Yeah. That's how you know you're balling. You're on that big <laughs> ass gig. You got the explosion pedal. Because sometimes things are uh, to track sequencing and sometimes things are like off, off the click. You know, she right. just does things and I have to like, you know, James Brown used to have hits and things yeah. and guys had to catch them. I actually have to do that sometimes too. Different roles when she does belly dancing, different yeah. kinds of hits when she jumps up and down. So I gotta catch those. You got the Octopad. Uh huh. And this is all, oh no, this is a real snare. Real <laughs> snare with a trigger on it. Okay, so hold on. First of all, you got a beautiful DW kit. Yeah. Um, gold kit? Yeah, it started out as a Steven Vega hooked me up from DW, hooked me up with this um, kind of a chrome stainless steel DW. It's a new model they have, totally metal, stainless steel. And then when we're in the middle of production rehearsal, Shakira said, that's a great looking drum set. What if it were gold? And I'm like, oh boy. So then <laughs> it was like, we were in Spain, we were like, like six weeks in, I'm like, oh man. And the rack and everything, it's all, we all goldified it. And you got dual computer. Yeah, one's a, one's a backup, like, a, yep. like a, this is like, basically this is a laptop running all of my drum samples. Yep. So every, every song in the set list has its own dedicated drum samples that are labeled for each song. And I just scroll through the set list and change uh, whatever song we're on. This is a, a backup in case this freezes, and then I just switch a little switch here, and then we're all good. Have you ever had to use the backup? Only once, and you know why? Why? Because the power cable uh, wasn't attached, and the computer went dead. Oh. It's not because it froze, but like we're playing, and all of a sudden I looked over, and there was like you know one percent on my computer, and it died. I'm like, oh. So then uh, I guess <laughs> for some reason it, it wasn't plugged in that day. Always have the backup rig. Yeah. Imagine if that died and you were in the middle of the show. Hey, look what happened. That's unplugged right now. See? Oh. Example. Hold on. Let me let me drum tech for you. See? See that? First time I've ever teched. Only for you, <laughs> Brendan. That just happened. The Roland TD50. You got the TD50 hiding under here for all y'all that play with all your triggers. You know how powerful this TD50 is. Mm -hmm. Just low pro hanging underneath a metronome? Yeah, a metronome. <laughs> I got a metronome too. We don't use it as much as we used to, but there yeah. were times where sometimes Shakira would want to go uh, just off the computer. She yeah. doesn't want to use the computers anymore, yeah. but we have to keep the same tempo. Right, right, right. Like 90 BPM for a while. So I would just kick that on and we play until she's done giving her speech or doing doing her dance or whatever. And then we want to kick the sequence back in again. It's right in time. That's dope. You know? Man, all sorts of rules of how to keep the gig forever. <laughs> uh, basically, everything you're looking at here came because of necessity. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. didn't show up saying this was a good idea. Yeah. 
I sh probably showed up with a four-piece kit. Yeah. Saying, okay, this is good. What else do I need? Every day you add something because of some scenario. Right. I don't want this. Mm -hmm. This is like, this is too much like for no a normal human being. <laughs> I would show up with like a little like kick, snare, and hat and be happy. But it grew because of different songs, different parts, different necessities, different sounds she wanted, different albums, different styles. And I've been doing a gig for 20 years, so it grew and grew and grew. Till now it looks like I'm in Rush or something, but. So let's go into these beautiful Sabians you got here, man. You got an array of yeah. epic things. I've, I've, uh, I've been with Sabian forever, so I kind of gone through their entire catalog to find the ones that really work for me. Stacks are in so, now. Stacks are so in. Stacks are so in. You got a tri-stack. Tri-stack, yeah. Most people, if you do two, you got you got a one up and do a three. <laughs> There's a tri-stack. This is something I've been doing forever though, is I, I do, um, I kind of make a, like an X hat with, uh, with an, uh, um, uh, upside down China as the bottom. Oh, okay. I like that. It's super trashy sounding, you know. Like, that's. Oh, yeah. I like that. And you get a stack on your ride. You know what? This You're is a, a weird maniac. thing. I started doing this a while ago with Tegan and Sarah, where I, uh, I, um, I found that I was never playing a bell anymore. Right. I do when I'm jamming with my friends, but in a lot of pop music, there you don't hear a bell. You don't hear a bell. Yeah. So I decided to do this instead of a bell. I thought it was a more useful sound for a lot of music I'm doing. You yeah, know. Yeah. The ride still sounds kind of like a rivet cymbal. Right, right. And then... I feel like that's a little more musical yeah. than just, um, you know, just not hitting a bell for two hours. You got dual china. Dual china, that's just Boom. pure 80s rock. Yes, dude. Yeah, that's it. That's because you've been on the gig for 20 years, so it brings it back. These guys. Uh, what, right here? Yeah. Oh, this is just a regular high. Oh, this is like some uh, some percussion from that company, Big Fat Snare. Nice. So oh, yeah, this yeah. this makes again. Oh, these are on top too. I haven't seen these. Yeah. So this is just a. These are jingles. Yeah. This is like a, a jingle thing. So. So it goes like. It, and it gives it a little more uh, so color, sick. a little more uh, and a bright kind of color than a regular hi hat. Yeah. Again, like. Um, I guess we get so used to what a hi-hat and a ride and a snare are supposed to sound like, we yeah. don't kind of stray too far. Right. But I like trying to take it out a little bit um, and see how far I can get in a pop context, yeah, still yeah. make it work. like that. that. That's a fun one. People like that one a lot. That's when it's lit. Yeah. The whole arena is boom. Exactly. Exactly. And then we got like, you know, she likes these slow tribal grooves. Like yeah. we do a lot of stuff like this. Like, um, like. We at the forum. I got Brandon behind me. He's letting me play his kit in the forum. Let's go. to do that before. Gear goggles, jam card, Emma Lovano. We out. Jam card out.